Greetings, Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya, and today we are discussing Scorpio energy. Scorpios, are you incarnating yourself at the level of the demon, the vampire, or Buffy the Vampire Slayer or the Slayer. It don't have to be Buffy. Maybe you're Blake, maybe or Blade, whatever that guy's name is. Maybe you're some badass, you know, whatever other Slayer. But the question to you, Scorpio, is are you resonating at the vibration of the Slayer or the Demon? That is the question of it today, and we are diving into it, baby. This came to me because I am such a Buffy nerd, like closet nerd with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I grew up on that show. I absolutely love it. And I am, yes, borderline obsessed. Now, with that said, I think it's a perfect illustration for discussing Scorpionic energy and the two manifestations that we see primarily indicated in each other as Scorpios, right? And so this video is to illustrate to you through a really visual sense how Scorpionic energy manifests with these two archetypes, okay? Okay. Before I jump into it, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're new here. I do put out new content on the daily. Like this video if it brings you any value whatsoever because it helps the channel grow and it's the groovy thing to do. So thank you. And the last thing is, if you want to know how to do this for yourself and you are a budding student of astrology and you know that you are meant to take this further in your personal life path, I am teaching a six month long program where I'm coaching beings like you and we have live meetings every single Sunday from 12 to 3 p.m. Central and I tell you everything you need to know about astrology and I have you practice it before me and then I give you support as you continually develop yourself in that process. It is a Slayer astrology training program and the link to enroll yourself is down below. So be sure you do that before the 11th of July. We're starting on the 11th of July, y'all. So it's literally last call for astrological insight. You understand? And yes, this is, people have been asking me, if you want to go pro, if you know that's part of your soul's journey, this is for you. This is not for very beginning astrologers who don't want to advance very quickly. This is a, a quick excelled program for people looking to take themselves to a professional astrological level and or know themselves at that level that a professional astrologer would and be able to use that skill in the context of their family and their social circle, however they choose. I'm very excited for that launch and the link is down below. So are you the slayer or are you the vampire? Ooh, this is a good question about Scorpio energy. Scorpio vibes, let me tell you, you got both of them inside of you. So it's a matter of what you choose to feed. And this is where we get into the deep metaphor of it all. Because the vampire archetype of Scorpio is like the plotting for the sake of just getting selfish gain, right? It's like the nobody cares who's getting hurt. I just want what I want. If you've ever watched any bug Buffy the Vampire Slayer show or any vampire show in general with them, you know, doing their thing. It's chaos, right? They kill, crush, destroy everybody in my way. So Scorpio energy is just like that when it's in its low vibration, but it's sneaky. It's plotting. It's like the smart vampire. Scorpio in low vibration is like, I'm going to make a master plan that is impenetrable because I know every flaw that could possibly happen. And it's my maniacal little like minion operation. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, like dark Scorpio energy, right? And y'all can do that. You can conduct people. You can be little like puppeteer puller stringers. You know, you can pull the strings of people real quick when you got Scorpio energy because you just attract and you magnetize and you're just like this like sexy kind of like, who are they? And so you, once you get in the flow of that, you can kind of con conduct it in how you conduct yourself. And so this all relates back, right? It all relates back into the higher vibration, the possibility of where you can take that energy. Instead of sucking the blood out of somebody and leaving them there to die, like a low vibe Scorpio, right? Because there's a lot of people who comment on my Scorpio content, like, I do not like Scorpio's I have been so burned by them, but they don't say that. They just say, Scorpios suck. Scorpios are the worst. But this is why they think that about you. This is why they think that about you. Because there are low-vibe vampire Scorpios out there, y'all. And you know it, and I know it. 
Now, goddess B, you are not listening to this as one of them being. So let's talk about you, okay? Now, the high vibe is the slayer. And what do I mean by that? Let me tell you something that's going to twist your whole, just real quick, flop this on its head. And spoiler alert, if you have not yet seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Good. Got that out of the way. True slayers, you know what makes a slayer a slayer? They have to have part demon blood in them. Holy shift. Boom, boom, boom. Joss Whedon, okay, is a genius. Because that is what it is. That is what it is. A slayer is the killer of demonic energy, but through the process of containing demonic blood. In the myth, you understand? Now let me connect this back, these dots to you for Scorpio energy. If you are a slayer as a Scorpio, you are killing off aspects of yourself that are parasitic and you're killing off that which in your surrounded environment does not serve you because it is of that vibration. It's less than you. It is not, you know, you don't want to be scuzzy and slutty and no offense, you know, to anybody's like sexual experiences. You just don't want to be that Scorpio when you're in your high vibe. You want to be like a, a powerful embodied conductor of your own life. And it's really about independence. When you think about Scorpio energy, it's the utilization of others' resources to gain uh, autonomy within yourself. That's all it is. That's all it is at the end of the day. It's the eighth sign corresponding with the eighth house. Hashtag wisdom drops astrology school starting on the 11th for serious students who want to know more about this. Link to enroll yourself is down below. And with that said, you as a Scorpio who is in your higher vibration, who eliminates the impurities, who takes out the so-called slayers, you eliminate them out of your, excuse me, the vampires out of your life. You eliminate the parasites out of your life, right? For you, even you, you walk in your power, you conduct yourself with integrity, you have this deep intuition, you have this deep sexual charisma, whatever, whatever. You are a Scorpio. You have deep feelings, you understand? You know you have a deep soul. You have a very deep consciousness behind those eyes. Do you understand, Scorpio? Even you, you who is conducting yourself at a healer level, at the shaman level, at the protector level, you as a slayer in this metaphor for Scorpio energy, right? You have demon blood in you. And that is in fact what gives you the most power and potency as a sign because you're ruled by Mars, which is a malefic. Mars is a malefic energy is not pleasant to go through. Mars is the ancient ruler of war. Have you ever heard of Aries? Have you ever heard of Athena? These are archetypes represented through Martian energy in the astrological palette. And so Mars energy rules Scorpio, and this makes you as a water sign very in tune with the energies of war, very in tune with the energies of primal, primordial angst and anger and expression of that through bloodshed, just as much as it puts you in tune with the ability to heal and bring light and love to a situation because Mars is also the responder. It's the first responder. You ever hear or see, you've seen a sexy ass firefighter. Everybody in their life has definitely seen a sexy ass firefighter. You know who rules sexy ass firefighters? Mars, Mars, the same planet that rules Scorpio because Mars is all about action, impulse, taking action, taking a plan and executing it, going forward, and getting something done. It's the arrow, y'all. Look at the glyph. Look at the glyph of Mars. It is literally an arrow. It is a projectile. It is out there to go and get it. And that rules you as a Scorpio, a receptive water sign, right? So in your strength, you reflect both of those elements. In your strength, you are not the vampire, but you are the slayer. Wisdom Drops Astrology School, the link to enroll yourself down below is for you. If you are called to join this, this is there for you. <laughs> you know who you are. People who want to take this to the next level real quick. Six months and it's going to be a blast. I'm going to support you as you interpret charts every single week every single week. I'm going to give you support on specific things to look at, specific things to look for. It is going to be a blast. I am so looking forward to helping this body of astrologers take their skills to the next level.
So everybody who supports my content in any way, shape, or form, the likes, the comments, the shares, I really appreciate you. And with that said, through next time, until next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.